Now, it was so incredible watching, obviously, the, the pop videos, and we're all kind of bopping away, thinking, oh, my God, you guys were amazing, and then crash to see that bit of the documentary that you've done about your, your drug addiction. We only see one side of it when you see a pop star, but there can be a very dark side as well, can't there? Yeah, I'll give you the short version. Um, but I, came from, I come from Hackney, so I'm a background with no money. My folks weren't rich or anything like that. So literally overnight, you're a success. You have too much too soon. How old were you then? Uh, you... 16. Oh, I got yeah, in the band absolutely. at 16. And home life was a little bit rocky already, so yeah. I had this opportunity to get away. You're going to take yeah. it, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, so went away, lived this life, amazing. Of course, there was ups and downs. We sold 20 million, like you saw, all looking great. Everything's fabulous. And then, really, the stuff started happening after the band split, because that was my lifeline. Them guys was like my family, because so I didn't... So you weren't taking drugs when you were with no, the band? No, I was, was teetotal. I never even had a yeah. drink. My first... Like, when I got into the band, I remember one of the members gave me a, 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 a Malibu and pineapple, so I'm like, hey, this is all right. So like, it's his fault, wherever you are. Uh, but uh, after that, like, the band kind of went downhill. We, we split up. I didn't want to split up. Uh, I didn't have any friends or family at the time, so I kind of just took, took it into my own hands mm. and started hanging around the wrong people, started being influenced by the wrong things, suggestions, yeah. and, and next thing you know. Do you know, one of the saddest things, it was hearing that you were paying people to be your friends. Yeah, I'd be like, how much do you get paid a day? And I'd give them whatever, just to come and hang out with me and chill and spend some time with me. Mm. Um, but that, that worked for me in yeah, a weird way. Yeah. yeah, it worked for me. Um, but the, the, it sort of got to a point where, after the band had split, um, I started, like I said, hanging around the wrong people. I didn't trust any of my family or any of my friends whatsoever, which is... Is that paranoia, though, from the drugs a bit as yeah, well? Yeah, absolutely. 100% yeah. you feel like you just go inside yourself. Yeah. You're very insular mm. and uh, you don't trust anybody. And that's a big thing for me. I, uh, I didn't realise I needed people. You need friends. And are you yeah. back trusting people now? You're back in touch with your more. family? Yeah, it yeah. got to a point where, like, my worst points were... I'd, I had this penthouse and I had no money, no money at all. I just literally just was bankrupt as well at the same time they were going to foreclose, take my house. I uh, had no furniture, no cutlery, no anything like that. And I'd, I'd be on the corner of my penthouse, just look, I was on the Thames, thinking about jumping, because it's like, what is the point? What is the point? Was that sort of when you... Because you've been clean now for five years, yeah, haven't been, you? Yeah. Was that sort of the turning point, that when you're standing on that ledge? I mean, th that and uh, there was a few incidents. Uh, I met the devil as well, which is pretty far out. What do you mean you met the devil? And, and the funny thing is, it looked like me. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I was, mm. I was so far off and I remember my heart palpitations felt like they were punching through my chest into the mattress. It happened twice and I heard a voice say, one more time. Like, you go one more time at this and then that's yeah. it. We're going to take you. Not exactly like that, but... I, I knew what then I needed to What do you think it was? A, a vision up. or just almost like your subconscious talking You're to so you? You're so warped. It's such a warped place. And this is the thing I want to get across to people watching at home. You can get out of this. You can get out of this. Because you didn't go to rehab. You did nah. it yourself, didn't you? Cold you did turkey. it cold turkey. Probably yeah. the worst thing I could do, yeah. to be honest. Because you really do need people. You need friends. You need family. Yeah. That's, the, that's how you get over this. You have to have the support of people because you feel like you're How did you go cold own. turkey? It was hell. Like, I literally... I mean, I was... You get pain, don't you? You get... Yeah. Did you take pain. yourself away somewhere then? Yeah, I went into nature for a couple of years as well, which really, really helped me. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the same thing. I hear you guys talking about animals and dogs and stuff. Yeah. They were my little shock absorbers. I had two little dogs that I'd, when they'd just know, they'd come up to me and I'd, I'd stroke them and love yeah, them and they'd yeah. take away a lot of that um, pain. And... Is this when you were on the farm? Yeah, yeah. But I'm you've now sort of come that. back to London. Is that a bit dangerous for you? Too? Nah, nah. I think you can get to a point where you can be around people even that might be doing naughty things and you know yourself. You like, you know who you there, are. Yeah, yeah, you won't go there again. You know who you are and what you are. Yeah. And what uh, about the boys? Are you still in touch with the other boys? I'm not. I'm in touch with one of them. I'm in touch with Jay. Uh, but the other boys are, are doing their thing, still out and about. Wish them luck. And, and would and you like to go back into the band? I don't think I could. When we were together, I, I wanted all the members to do it and be back and, and rock and rolling like we are, because we was a great band, great music. I've got a lot of love and admiration and respect to everybody that's ever bought a song. It supported me and it still supports me. I still get little bits of check from the songs that have come out. Yeah. you very quickly about your mum, because people mm. will be wondering, because she, she was a single mum, brought you up. Must have been horrendous for her. Now, you didn't speak to her for seven years, but yeah. you're back in touch. Yeah, yeah. I went back, I was like, sorry, mum. That I messed up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All of that, man. Do you know the mum? That's, that's all, that's all we want to hear. Thank God for mums. That's yeah. exactly. what I'm saying. You're in the right place to say that.